can certain weather patterns, such as humidity and dry conditions, affect the way a carburetor functions, and therefore create the need to adjust the carburetor? Does the carburetor need to be adjusted differently for a humid environment than it does a dry environment? Well, in this video clip from my full video, I've brought out this information so you can get to it quickly and efficiently should you want to. The full video is in the link below in the description. And as usual, I'm going to put in some visuals for a deeper understanding. Welcome to the Repair Specialist channel. I'm Craig, the owner and creator. And having been in the trade for around 30 years, I now make videos relating to the diagnosis and repair of small engines and machinery, and how things work and why. And in layman's terms, using clear visual explanations to help you gain a deeper understanding and a firmer knowledge base. Why? Because knowledge is power. So let's get to it. And supporting this video is a free download leaflet of how to tune your chainsaw. There's a link in the description below that will take you onto my website where you can download this, as I've said, completely free. The best of it is, is it's printable and you can take it into your workspace with you and tune your chainsaw at your leisure. OK, so as usual, let's take a look inside this machine at the engine and carburettor. Although I'm showing a chainsaw here, the principles are the same for other two-stroke machinery. So, as we know, when the engine starts to move, it draws in air through the induction tube of the carburettor, and as it passes the main jet, it draws out fuel, hopefully at the right amount to allow for a good ratio between air and fuel for the engine to run optimal. And so on most two-stroke carburettors, we know we have these fuel adjustment screws, which allows more or less fuel into the induction tube of the carburettor. But one of the reasons we need to adjust the fuel in the carburettor is not literally down just to the fuel itself, it's because of the air that enters the carburettor. There's other factors that affect the air to begin with, such as humidity. But how exactly? Well, let's come back to our baseline good air to fuel mix. And at the moment, we've got a good supply of air coming into the carburettor, making this decent air to fuel ratio. But of course, what happens in a humid environment is that water vapour is present in the air. And so depending on the concentration of this water vapour at any given time, then this vapour is going to take up space within the air. And so when the engine draws in a specific volume into the carburettor, it won't just be air molecules. This water vapour will have displaced some of the air molecules, and so there'll be less quality air going into the carburettor and into the engine. And so now, looking at the air-to-fuel mix, we can see that we have less air-to-fuel ratio now. And so principally now, the ratio would be rich, rich in fuel, because we've got more fuel to air available to deal with it. And so the best thing to do now is to screw in the screws slightly to restrict some of the fuel coming out of the main jet and make it a better air to fuel mix for combustion. I'm not saying that the engine would run great because we do have water vapour going into the engine, but in my opinion it would run better than water vapour going into the engine like this and it being too rich. So by adjusting the carburettor, as we've shown on all of these examples, it's just to get the engine running as best it can. I'm not saying it's going to perform at its best. OK, so don't forget to take advantage of the RepairSpecialistOnline.com website, where from the landing page, you can click this button here, free printable downloads, onto the download page, and you can see I've got six free downloads here. The best of them are that they're printable, and you can take them into your workspace with you, and they're on several different topics. We have one on lawnmower ignition coil care, a checklist, the Briggs and Stratton diaphragm replacement guide, unflood your chainsaw without or with tools, how to order the correct chain every time for your chainsaw, how to tune a chainsaw guide, and a chainsaw won't run. As I've said, they're absolutely free, and the download buttons are in the gold, 
And if I just take you through the process, because I've been asked this question, how you do this. So click free, download, scroll down, add to cart, then view cart, then get my download. You can see here, it's absolutely free. There's no payment at all. So get my free download. For the phone number, you may just use any number. I don't need the phone number, but we do need an email address. Okay, so I've filled that in, my name, last name, and email address, and click. And as you can see, we're still here, I have no charge, and place order. And then we come to this screen here, thank you, and your name, and then it says download. Click download, and off it goes onto your PC. So a really big thank you for coming to the end of this video, and I hope you've gained something from it. Thank you for watching.